Hello there, my name is Jay. I'm one of the expert PT teachers here at E2 Language. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to get a high score in PT listening. What we're going to do specifically is I'm going to give you a quick overview of PT listening and just show you all of the tasks very quickly. We're then going to look at or think about how to listen and read at the same time. And we're going to do a little experiment to see whether that's possible. The reason we're doing that is because a number of the tasks in PT listening actually have text on the screen and an audio file. And it does it test your ability to read and listen at the same time? Or what's the best approach when that happens? For example, in multiple choice, multiple answers or highlight correct summary. So there's a little trick that I'm going to teach you there. Okay, that'll be interesting. Number three, we're going to look at the key skill behind improving your listening. So if you are having difficulty understanding, comprehending these complex lectures, there's a reason why, and I'm going to show you that. And finally, a critical part of PT listening success is time management. I'm going to show you how much time to spend on each of the listening tasks so on test day, you get through to the end. Just before we continue, if you're not yet a subscriber to this YouTube channel, click that subscribe button for great content. Okay, let's do a quick overview of PT listening. So there are eight tasks. Summarize spoken text, multiple choice multiple answers, fill in the blanks, highlight correct summary, multiple choice single answer, select missing word, highlight incorrect words, and write from dictation. This is what summarized spoken text looks like. Basically what happens is you get a, a lecture or a conversation that'll go for between sort of 60 and 90 seconds. You then need to turn that into a well-written summary of between 50 and 70 words. That's how that task works. That's the first one. It's timed separately, by the way. You get 10 full minutes for this task. Then you need to begin managing your own time and you get this task, which is multiple choice, choose multiple answers. Again, a lecture of up to 90 seconds. You need to select, well, you can select one, but there will always be more than one answer option, correct? Be careful, it has negative marking. This one's called fill in the blanks. It's pretty straightforward. As you're listening to this audio, you'll be writing words in the gaps that are missing. Very straightforward task there. This one's called highlight correct summary. And it's a good example of one where you listen and read, or do you, which I'll show you in a second, at the same time. You can see that the answer options are quite long, so it does require you to do a lot of reading. And you'll also see here that this is a video. Sometimes you get a video and sometimes you get an audio, so just be aware of that. This one's called Select Missing Word. It's practically a multiple choice question. What happens is at the end of the video or audio, right at the end, the last word or phrase will be replaced by a beeping sound and you need to anticipate what the speaker was going to say and go, aha, it was that one, for example. This is multiple choice, choose single answer, very straightforward. You just select one of the answer options. But again, this is one where reading and listening uh, comes into play. This one's called highlight incorrect words. Here's the uh, audio and here's the transcript of the audio. However, some of the words in the transcript will differ from what the speaker says. Your job is to then go through and click on the words that differ from what the speaker says. And the final task is called write from dictation. You'll hear a single sentence and you just write that single sentence into the box and click next. Just be aware, of course, you're not just going to get one of each of those questions. You'll get a number of those questions of each of those tasks, okay? So for example, for write from, from dictation, that final task, I believe you get, I, I can't remember, I think it's like eight or something like that. So you need to do them all. Cool, all right, that's great. Uh, if you need to practice any of those questions and you need some high quality online material, go to e2language.com and sign up for free. You'll also get access to some live classes for free. And if you do want to upgrade your account, you get the entire course unlocked. You get all of the live classes, one-on-one -on -one tutorials, speaking and writing feedback. It's the best way to prepare for your PTE. Okay, let's now think about listening and reading. How can we do listening and reading at the same time? Because a number of these questions require you to listen carefully and read carefully. How is that possible? 
What we're going to do here is a little experiment. Uh, what we're looking at on the screen here is a highlight correct summary question where you have to do a lot of reading while the lecture's playing. I want you to do an experiment. What I'm going to do on my phone here is I'm going to read the lecture. Okay, I've got the lecture here. So what I want you to do is two things at the same time. I want you to listen very carefully to the lecture that I'm saying. Okay, so listen very carefully. But at the same time, I want you to read very carefully, okay, these answer options. Let's see if it's actually possible. Okay, you ready? So uh, past studies have demonstrated that um, uh, tea intake's beneficial to human health and the positive effects include things like mood improvement and uh, cardiovascular disease prevention. Uh, the mood improvement stuff's been challenged quite a bit, but it seems to be pretty robust. Um, what, what's been debunked is the role of tea drinking in reducing obesity. That doesn't seem to hold too well in the science, but there's other things as well. Uh, in fact, results of a longitudinal study led by assistant professor Cheng, um, which was published in 2017, showed that daily consumption of tea can reduce the risk of cognitive decline in older persons by 50%, which is, uh, this, is a, this is quite extraordinary. Okay, if you're like me, and if you're like every other human on the planet, you would have found that to be an impossible task. It is actually impossible to read something carefully and to listen to something carefully at the same time. What you can do is sort of flick between reading and listening. So you'll listen for a second, read for a second, listen for a second, read for a second. That's possible with your brain, but it's impossible to do two simultaneously. This poses a major problem. And what should you do in the PTE test? The answer is to use your erasable noteboard booklet, the notebook that you get on test day. This is a critical uh, tool to help you pass your test. So what you need to do is you need to listen very carefully to the lecture and you need to take notes. And what that does, taking notes should actually reinforce your understanding of what is said, your comprehension of the lecture. The critical thing here in listening is to make sure that you understand what is said. It's more important than reading and understanding what's on the page here. If you just read and understand what's on the page, but you didn't quite understand what was said, you have no chance of getting the right answer. If you fully understood what was said and you read this, then your chances are much higher of answering this correctly, correctly. So let's do this again. This time, I don't want you to read and listen at the same time. I want you to get out a pen and a piece of paper. It's only 30, 40 seconds, let's do this. I want you to take notes and listen to what I say. Then I'm going to give you some time to answer the question by matching your notes and using your memory to select the best answer option. Okay, are you ready? I want you to read, sorry, I want you to listen and take notes, then read. Here we go. So uh, past studies have demonstrated that tea intake's uh, beneficial to human health and uh, the positive effects include uh, mood improvements and cardiovascular disease prevention. Uh, the mood improvement stuff's been challenged quite a bit, but it seems to be pretty robust. Uh, what's been debunked is the role of tea drinking in reducing obesity. That doesn't seem to hold too well in, in the science, but there's other things as well. In fact, um, results of a longitudinal study led by Associate Professor Cheng, which was published in 2017, uh, showed that daily consumption of tea can reduce the risk of cognitive decline in older persons by 50%. Uh, this, is, this is quite extraordinary. Okay, now you have your notes, you have your memory. I'm gonna give you 20 seconds or 30 seconds to read carefully and choose the correct response, please.
Okay, you can pause the video if you require more time. I'm sorry, there's a little typo here. This is my, my fault, it should be, has been questioned. My fault there. Cool, okay. Hopefully, what happened then was you listened, you took notes, you understood, and you concentrated on what the lecturer was saying more than anything. Then you applied your notes and your memory to this here. And you went, okay, that's not right, that's not right, that's not right. And hopefully you arrived at the correct answer, which was in fact A. B was wrong, C was wrong, and D was wrong. A was correct. Hopefully you got that. Uh, please just pop into the comments below whether you found that helpful. Just tell me what you think about, could you read and listen in? Uh, or did you find the note taking to be much more helpful, which personally I highly recommend. Okay, let's tackle a larger question here, which is how do we improve your listening skill in general? Because this is, <laughs> for me, I, my second language that I speak is Indonesian. And I find it, I find listening to be the most challenging skill. Okay, I, I, it, it makes me anxious because Indonesian speakers speak so quickly and there's a lot of things going on. So there is a key thing that you need to understand to improve your listening. And let me take you through this. The key to improving your listening skill is to actually improve your understanding of spoken English or how the language is spoken because how the language is spoken differs considerably from how it is written. Many of you would have learned English by reading, okay? Especially if you went to a school where there's no native English speakers and you're in a classroom with a, you know, the teacher uh, is speaking, uh, is a Korean, for example, who's teaching you English and you're doing a lot of reading in English and a lot of writing in English, but not much uh, listening in English. Now, the way the words appear on the piece of paper in written English is significantly different from how a native English speaker will say them. So let's look at some of those differences because the key to getting better at listening is to understand how spoken English differs from written English and to understand those features. So elements of spoken English include that it's connected. I'm going to take you through this in a second and show you what I mean by this. It's contracted. It has intonation. It has hesitations and ums and ahs. It has grammatical errors. Words have stressed syllables. Function words are spoken rapidly. You almost can't hear words like a, ah, and, the, on, if, for example. Content words are elongated or stressed in the sentence. And of course, there are various accents. Now, all of these elements that I've just mentioned here, which I'll show you in a second what I mean, these are all part of PT Academic because PT Academic uses authentic lecture material. They are not fake, they are real. So you'll, you'll actually get lecturers giving real lectures and making all of this messy spoken English, right? Uh, some of them are extremely messy. It's just the nature of spoken English. So if you can understand the messiness, then it will help you to improve your listening. So let's take a look at the transcript that I read before, okay? Now, this is not how somebody speaks in PT Academic. Past studies have demonstrated that tea intake is beneficial to human health and the positive effects include mood improvement and cardiovascular disease prevention. That is not spoken English. That's written English and it's entirely different. Let's, I want you to read along with me, but I'm gonna say it as if I were speaking it authentically or naturally. So um, uh, past studies have demonstrated that uh, tea intake's beneficial to human health and the positive effects include mood improvement and um, cardiovascular disease prevention. Uh, the, the mood improvement stuff's been uh, challenged quite a bit, but it seems to be pretty robust. So um, what's been debunked is uh, the role of tea drinking in reducing obesity. That doesn't seem to hold too well in the science, but uh, there's other things as well. In fact, results of a longitudinal study uh, led by Associate Professor Cheng, which was published in 2017, showed that uh, daily consumption of tea can 
uh, can reduce the risk of cognitive decline in older persons by 50%. This is quite extraordinary. So a few things you would have noticed is a lot of ums and ahs, right? Just inserted right at the beginning, inserted between little phrases here. There's just all these ums and ahs happening all the time. You would have noticed too that there's a lot of con contraction, studies of. So we get rid of this ha, there's no ha, it's just past studies of. So there's this sort of contracted or connected speech here. Past studies have demonstrated that uh, 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 tea intakes, tea intakes, so there's no is there, it's just tea intakes, beneficial to human health. What you would have also noticed, or hopefully you're becoming aware of now, little function words like to and conjunctions like and and articles like the, uh, what else? Uh, auxiliary verbs like has, um, what else? Pronouns like that. These are spoken at rapid rates so quickly. And the, and the, and the, and the positive effects in the positive n the, n the, and the positive effects include mood improvement and cardiovascular disease prevention. The mood, the mood, the mood, almost like split second on these sorts of words here. Very, very quick. Um, what else have we got? You may have noticed that other words, however, are quite stressed. So, so um, past studies have demonstrated, boom, lots of emphasis on demonstrated, that tea intake, critical words like these nouns and adjectives, for example, are, are emphasized. You also would have noticed the role of intonation, that is the ups and downs of spoken speech. So past studies have demonstrated that tea intake is beneficial to human health and the positive effects, blah, 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 blah. So this is intonation. This is another critical factor of spoken English. So if you need more help in understanding the elements of spoken English, you should check out the other videos that we've done on YouTube called um, Science, PT Speaking Science. So you might want to type that into YouTube as well, PT Speaking Science, because I go through intonation and word stress and sentence stress and connected speech, and we look at all of that. As I mentioned, if you want to improve your listening, you need to improve your understanding of how native English speakers speak in real time, in real life, okay? That is the key to improving your listening skill. All right, cool. What's next? Lastly, I want to talk to you about time management because it doesn't matter how good your listening skills are, if you don't manage your time well in PT, especially in the listening section, you won't get a high score. And it's usually right from dictation, right at the end that is problematic. So let me take you through all of the tasks and talk to you about how much time you should spend on each. So the first task, summarize spoken text, you use all 10 minutes. I think you get two of these on test day. So use the 10 minutes, click next, use the 10 minutes. These are timed separately to the other tasks in listening. From multiple choice, choose multiple answers, you begin to manage your own time. And basically what you do is you listen, take notes, read the answer options, select the answer options within 30 seconds, and then click next. So there's the next button. So don't spend too long on each one, possibly even shorter than that, maybe 15 to 20 seconds. Fill in the blanks. Well, you complete this as you go. And then at the end, you spend about 10 or 20 seconds making sure the spelling and grammar is accurate. Highlight correct summary is the one that we just did. And you listen, you take notes, and then you spend about a minute reading the answer options. You select one and then you click the next button. Simple as that. Multiple choice, choose single answer, maybe 20 seconds after the audio has finished or maybe even less because there's short answer options. Select missing word where you need to select the single words. Honestly, five seconds after the audio finishes, you know the answer or you don't. And if you don't, you may as well just guess and move on. There's no point, once that audio finishes, there's no point hanging around. Highlight incorrect words is the one where you highlight the words as you go, and then you just click next, okay? And finally, this is the important one because you wanna make sure you have enough time for all of these. You listen to the sentence, you write it down quickly, 
you check it, you click next, okay? That's what you need to do there. All right, just before I go, I just wanna tell you one thing about this cool website called e2school.com. It's a brand new website, and it's built for people who require some more basic English skill training. So if you're concerned about your pronunciation or your vocabulary or your grammar, maybe you need to go back and do some more sort of rigorous preparation before your PT, check out this website. It's $9 per month, which is incredibly good value for money, considering we have some of the best teachers in the world. It includes live classes, great content. You can build your basic English skills at E2 School. But for test prep, PT academic training, check out e2language.com. I hope that was helpful. My name is Jay, I will see you soon.